So we're here to talk about Credence. Have you read it? People are talking about it. I'm not even sure if it's okay if I like this book. I forget what I can and cannot recommend anymore. Reading it, I was like, oh, I think I like this. There was an element to Credence that I was like, am I allowed to like this? Um, and the answer is, fuck yeah, I'm allowed to like this. It was good. There are some things, like some disclosures, right? What a, what this type of book is. Okay. I haven't read a romance novel in ages and it hurts to admit the truth but it's probably been years and um that's a really sad thing for me to admit but it's true and so 2019 ended boom it was just like calming down so beautifully and I was like I think I'm ready to get back into writing coincidentally also means that I'm ready to get back into reading again there was something about the Credence cover uh which is um, pretty nondescript, and if I could be so bold, doesn't actually look like a romance cover. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I read the blurb and I was like, I am totally gonna start with this book. First book of the year, first book in a long time. I have never read a Penelope Douglas book before, but I had only ever heard good things. Um, the blurb is great. It was the ending that got me of this uh, synopsis, which was one of them has her, the other one wants her, but he, he is going to keep her. Yeah, so I was like, I'm in. I'm gonna read this. Let's see how this goes. Um, okay, stop. How do we feel about taboos? How do we define a taboo? It was one of the number one things I heard people saying online. Oh, this book isn't for everyone. Oh, it's a bit taboo. I was like, what the fuck is taboo? I mean, I know what it means, but some people who have, you know, student teacher relationships, ooh, that's taboo. I didn't know that Penelope Douglas's Credence was going to have these taboo topics immediately. Like, I just didn't know what taboo meant. I had to define it for myself, and I think I did. So this was a really good, interesting story. That being said, this book has the taboo topic of getting physically involved with a family member not a biologically related family member. If you're laughing, it's just new for me to read sort of a three-way type of love story that just works with that other really strong story. I'm not like used to that. Um, I like diving into the taboo portion. So, um, you know, maybe I'll read more of that. I don't know. Let's let's give the Credence rundown, the Credence synopsis, really bite side. This is my first blog. I don't want to just give you the whole story because um, I want you to read the book. I definitely want you to read it. So here, what is Credence about? Right from the beginning, um, she immediately uh, introduces the main character, Tyr. Tiernan? It's tough when you read books and then you have to say their names out loud, like, whoops. Okay. Tiernan. Tiernan. It starts out setting up the life of Tiernan, you know, let's just jump right into it. Her parents have died. They're really famous. They have some sort of influence in the entertainment industry. Uh, they essentially uh, commit suicide and um, they leave... Tiernan alone, who is uh, 17 years old, right on the cusp of turning 18. Uh, it's a really sad situation. The biggest part of the story that is such a huge impressionable mo part of it is that her parents like kill themselves, but they love each other more than they really love their own daughter. And she's kind of left really like empty and sort of always searching for the love and finding it in her memories and stuff like that. So that's a really important part of the book that sort of is consistent throughout because she really has a problem with connecting people quick rundown of what ends up happening. She goes to the mountains to Colorado to live with her uncle Jake who invites her to live there at least until she's 18. Once this, the winter hits, they're stuck there for months at a time. She's got two cousins, Noah, who's really adorable. They connect really, really well. And Caleb, who's essentially mute in the very beginning of the book um, and is 99% of the time mute um sorry spoiler each character had a great connection with Taryn Jake her uncle he was like one of those people who was really supportive and wanted the best for her but was also attracted to her because she was like young almost 18 and she kind of came on to him too um she also ends up losing her virginity to him but when she's up in the mountains she also like builds all the sexual tension up with her cousins too who are all physically attracted to her as well and like emotionally attracted to her especially Noah and when he finds out because yes he does find out that his own father slept with Tiernan he kind of is like hey like I like actually like her 
Um, and then Caleb is sort of constantly this like push and pull character and I don't want to give too much of him away because he's one of the best parts of the book. So um, I love a lot of show and not a lot of tell and it seems like you're always trying to guess with Caleb. So knowing that that each person is going to offer her a little something different but in a really valuable way that's kind of how this story plays out. They live in this really small town. They build motocross. There's a lot of bros. There's some underlying darker theme. Overall, it's about her meeting these family members, connecting with them, finding that she has a deeper connection. Like they're not biologically um, related. So like she has a deep connection with them. The story is mostly about Tiernan trying to find herself and also creating these really valuable relationships with people. Jake really offers that soft side of understanding and it's kind of teaching her. And, you know, Noah is, is super adorable. There was a part of me halfway through the book that really wanted them to get together. And I really enjoyed their connection. Caleb is sort of this like Russian roulette sort of character. You never know what you're gonna get, but it's a lot of passion and it's a lot of heart and you really feel for him as well. Each character is going through their own dark side. So without giving too much away, that is what it's about. Tiernan essentially has a physical relationship with each one of those characters. Actually, it's a super steamy scene. What did I like about it? What did I like about Credence? I liked the pacing of the book. I thought the book was super well written. It was so well written that all these taboo things were easy for me to accept and the sex was super hot and um, and it felt complete. So a lot of times I, I, I wanna read a really good romance novel and a good romance novel is a really strong story and a romance and the steamier the better. And if they're all, if they're all working well. I am invested in this story and I get all of those things plus an HEA. Um, then I'm set and this book kind of had it and I loved the setting. It was in Colorado. I liked the concept. I accepted it. I, I was there with Tiernan. I felt that that was, that the story was good. Um, and I liked the relationships a lot. What I didn't like, what I didn't like. I don't like to say I don't like things. So I want to say things that I came to term with. I don't know that that feels unfair as my first vlog. Um, I, it was hard for me to get over that she slept with her uncle Jake. Um, t sometimes he would even like have a serious family type conversation where she would say something and then they would get flirtatious and then she'd be like, yeah, okay, uncle Jake. And you're like, ooh, that's bad. But is that what makes it hot? I don't know, you tell me. If you've read the book, uh, maybe you like that. And that's okay. Um, I still thought that the, all the relationships were really good. So that's like maybe like my one thing and what her life was like, you know, how it really connected to life afterwards. It, it never dawned on the story to ever have a conversation of like what these decisions might make on the outside world, even though there were other things coming from the outside world. So she did care about some sort of perception on the outside, mainly pertaining to her parents, I'll give her that. But you know, it would have made that a little bit more real. But when I read a romance novel, I don't need cutthroat realness. I am looking to, again, escape. And um, if I have all of those great elements, like I mentioned before. So overall, I really, really recommend this book. It was high quality of writing. I really enjoyed the writing itself. It was fast paced. It was really um, involved and well written. I was pulled in to what the story was so much so that I didn't care about all those things that I thought maybe I would care about. I was satisfied when I finished the book and it was just, it was good. So that's, that's how I felt about Credence. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy it too. If you decide to read, um, it's always hard to decide what book to read next in like the sea of book releases that happen weekly. I am reading one book a month right now and I really desperately want to try and read a book a week just so I can keep up with all these amazing authors and these amazing books that are coming out. Um, it's no wonder that our to be read piles pile up so quickly. Thank you for watching my first vlog. I can't tell how many I'm going to do of these, but I really enjoy talking about this book. Hopefully you give Credence a chance. And if not, like drop your questions in the comments. Like I want to hear what your thoughts were on it. Did you like it? Was this taboo topic for you? Was this the first type of this book that you read? Um, and if you could let me know what you read to get you out of this reading slump, I would really like to know because... It's been a struggle. I voraciously read this book in two days and I'm trying to figure out how I can get just as into another book. So um, help a girl out. Tell me what you thought. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe or just like sign up. 
Oh, <laughs> did you hear my cat? <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you later.